guys, I just wanted to go over the five parameters of ASL. And these are the five things that make up a sign. And so if somebody was going to explain a sign or if you needed to explain to somebody else how to make a sign, you would use these five parameters. Okay, and the first one is going to be your hand shape. Okay, so what shape is your hand in? This would be considered an A hand shape. This is the letter A. So a lot of the hand shapes do follow some of the letters of the alphabet. You have a B hand shape, a C hand shape. Now not every letter is used in other signs, but a lot of them are. Also some of the numbers, some of those hand shapes will also be used, like the number one. So when you describe or have a sign described to you, hand shape will be very important, okay? Number two is gonna be your palm orientation. Which way is your hand facing? Is it facing down? Is it facing up? Is it facing inward, outward to the side, outward to the front? Okay, so you need to know where does your palm go, okay? Which way is it gonna face? The orientation of your palm, okay? Number three is going to be where is the location of your sign? Where is your sign placed, okay? Is it gonna be on the top of your head? Is it going to be at your chest? Is it going to be on your arm? Okay, so there's all different places that your sign could be. So location is your third one. So first one is going to be your hand shape. What hand shape is the sign? Two is going to be which way does your palm face, your palm orientation. Okay, number three is location, head, chest, arm, away from the body, wherever the location is, okay, within your little sign box here. Okay, the next one's gonna be movement okay so we're down to number four number four is movement how is your sign going to move is it going to tap once is it going to bounce is it going to go up and down is it going to slide okay is it going to arch out away from you is it going to come towards you okay the movement is very important okay and we're going to talk more about movement later so you have number one is what your hand shape okay how does your hand shape okay what does it look like number two what is it okay good your palm orientation which way is your palm is it down up forward sideways okay number three do you remember where is it at the location right okay so is it on the top of your head is it on your chest is it on your arm is it away from your body okay number four we just went over it and it is movement right okay how does your sign move tapping sliding Swishing, bouncing, okay, all those different things. And the last one is not always affiliated with every sign, but to a lot of signs, and that is non-manual signals. And you'll see that listed as NMS, non-manual signals. Those are the extra things that your body's going to be doing to go along with the sign. So if I'm going to ask you uh, or do the sign for huh, okay, my eyes are going to burrow in. I'm going to have my sign, okay, it's going to be like a number one, location's out in front of me, palm orientation facing forward, it kind of wiggles, and my non-manual signal is going to be on my face. Hmm? Huh? Okay, so those are kind of things that you want to know. Is, does your mouth do something? Are you going to shake your head for yes? No. And those are important because you don't want to just do... Okay, or if you're going to say something like, I'm going to the store, the, when you sign go, your non-manual signal is going to be very important. Okay, you are going to the store. Okay, or not going to the store. Okay, that is going to be important for a lot of these signs to tell whether it's negative or positive. It's going to be able to tell um, if it's question. Okay, sometimes you just, it goes with it. Okay, so let's go through them one more time and see if you remember. First one is what? Hand shape, okay, is it a number, a letter, okay, what is your hand shape? Two is palm orientation, where does your palm go? Up, down, sideways, okay. Number three, where is it located? Head, cheek, body, arm, away from your body. Number four is movement, that's right, movement, is it going up and down, is it sliding? Is it tapping? Is it coming towards you? Okay, and last one is non-manual signals, right? Is it your face? Is your body? What is going on other than the actual sign? Okay, so those are the things you need to know.